Yoga Moss and Yoga Plants by Michaela Hayes, September 25, 2015. What are Yoga Moss? Yoga Moss are known as the Prebian Moss. They're a whitish colored moss. They're short lived once they become adults. They're only born in the springtime. The females always gather the pollen. Yoga Moss fly only during the night and they are very codependent. This is a picture of a Yoga Moss. Some Yoga Moth anatomy is they have antennas. They have a white head and thorax. They have grayish brown hind wings with white hair like. Their females are way bigger than the males, which is unusual. Wingspan is equal to an inch. They have body lengths of less than an inch. Some interesting facts about a yoga moth is females collect the pollen, forms a compact ball that is three times the size of their heads. They're one of the oldest moths to live. Yoga plant wouldn't exist without these moths. What are yoga moths you're thinking? They're normally found in North America. They're an evergreen. They get up to 60 feet in height. They're stiff, sword-like leaves, and they depend on pollen to even live. This is what a yoga plant looks like. Some anatomy about a yoga plant is there are trunk-like shrubs with stiff leaves, sword-shaped leaves to be exact. They're stiff, they're easily bent or floppy-like. Spines can be in various colors. Some interesting facts about the yoga plant is the lowest irrigation temps, which equals a greater chance for forest fires. They can use as an ornamental plant in gardens. What are yoga plants and yoga moths really used for? They're used in foods, flavoring, carbonated beverages, Helps, they help lower blood temperatures. They're used in soaps, treating health issues such as headaches, hypertension, arthritis. The benefits of one another is they're the only source of food for each other. They only pollinate with each other. They can't survive without one another. And they depend on the seed seed and get the nutrients that are required to grow. My resources is I went to www.waynetoward.com. Polymar.edu. Thank you.